seriously, that alone is in the top three moments of my entire time in New Zealand. I will never forget that. Today, I'm exploring another New Zealand city. Previously, I explored Upper Hutt. Today, I've gone a little bit further south and I'm exploring the creatively named Lower Hutt. With a population of around 130,000, roughly a 15 minute train ride north of the capital city, Wellington, I'm here exploring, seeing what there is to see in what so far looks like quite a pleasant place. So join me as we explore Lower Hutt. We're starting in a place called Pitone, or Pitone as it is, you know, sometimes known. So I'm going to head around Pitone, see what there is to see, and then head to more of the central area of Lower Hutt. So join me as we explore Lower Hutt. Okay, so we've got ahead of us Gear Street, probably some good parties there, and then we've also got Jackson Street. Now, as I understand it, Jackson Street is the main strip of Pitone, and that's where we'll be heading today. What's this place? CACI. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, who knows? A couple of trolleys, excellent. Trolleys seem to be everywhere in this part of the world. Pretty good. Now, Sal's Pizza, let me state right now, Sal's is honestly amazing. It's some of the best pizza I've had outside of New York. I can't stress that enough. Just wait for these guys to drive so I don't die crossing the road. Would be quite annoying, although it probably makes some good content. Now, that looks like a good part, the Victoria Tavern, next to the Sprig and Fern. Okay. So far, we've got some good sized pubs. Always a very good sign little tattoo place, Jackson Street Tattoo. Happy days. Hang on a minute, the Dutch shop. Oh, hang on, Killing Turkish food, the Dutch shop and Indian cuisine. What a blend of cuisines. Wow, oh, it's closed, that's such a shame. From my time in Amsterdam, I really, really enjoy Dutch food, so a little bit of a shame that's not open, but no worries at all. And what else have we got? The spice rack. Cyan spoon, Thai food. I've got to say, the multicultural cuisine on offer so far, I'm pretty damn impressed. Has to be said. Has to be said. Sushi place, obviously. Tio Manga hospice shop. Very nice. Good work. Charitable stuff. That's what we like to see. Helping out our fellow people. Well, despite only being here for about three seconds, I've walked down the street and it looks pretty damn cool. Little barbers there. Closed, obviously, but, you know, that's fine. Honestly, if these places were open, it would be absolutely sensational. But I've got to say, so far, it's pretty damn good. It really is. Palace Cafe. Who doesn't love a good cafe? I'm certainly one of those people that does. Bacon roll in the morning and there's nothing better. Let me just remind everyone, it's an absolutely stunning day. I know you can see that, but I just wanted to reiterate it because honestly, it is gorgeous right now. Okay, what else have we got? We've got Creative Works, selling gifts, homeware and apparel or apparel. I've never actually known how to pronounce that word. Who cares? Addicted to books, good. Yeah, worst things to be addicted to, that's for sure. Oh, that's nice. Nice little bookshop. Schrodings. Okay, good name. Impressed that it's open too. That's obviously quite a rarity in these parts. Vietnamese restaurant. I know I've made this point like 19 times already, but I can't get over the amount of multicultural cuisines that are on offer here. Absolutely superb. I'm really, really impressed. Lower Hut, or more specifically, Pitone. What a star. Oh, look at that. Little record store in there. Low cost records, tapes, CDs. Oh my word, this place has got some incredible shops. Sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm talking over the top, but I, I, I really mean it, it is good. What we've got over there, we've got massage therapy, rose petals, peaches, what's that? Peaches and cream, oh, it's an, okay. Yeah, well, that's, you know, probably, probably won't go in there. Um, or will, who knows. Little hair salon, closed, obviously. Damn. I've got to say, and this is what I quite like, you can see the sort of old style architecture on top of new style shops, that's what we love. Antiques in there, 
Wow. Again, sometimes in these videos, don't get me wrong, I might be prone to exaggerating a little bit sometimes. But I have to say, so far, so very, very good, Pitone. You should be proud of yourself. Another bar? <laughs> Forget Wellington, I'm moving here. And do you know what else I really like about this place? The fact that it's one long street, I think, lends itself to being very, very good for a classic pub crawl. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Very good venues, very good. Do you know what I might do? I actually might pause this video soon and just go and have a little bit of food and maybe even, you know, treat myself to a pint of fresh New Zealand beer just so I can sample the local cuisine and give you an accurate opinion of what it's like rather than just say how good it is. Okay, what else have we got? Eat your greens, pretty good, pretty good health advice, I've got to say. It's packed, nice. Clock tower, bakery and coffee shop, good work. Okay, that place is boarded up, but you know what? It's not too much of an issue, I've got to say. So far, I've seen a lot of places that are open. Really good. Now, somebody told me there is a UK store along this road. I haven't seen it so far, so I'll have to go and have a look. Across the road, here we go picturesque down there, quite green, quite leafy. Happy days. Nice cafe. God damn it. Honestly, there is more going on here than there is in Wellington CBD, although that's not hard, let's be honest. Um, I have to say as well, I've been really, really impressed with what's on offer. It looks fantastic. The best fried chicken in town. Who doesn't love fried chicken? Delicious. Oh my God, I found it. Not Dirty Burger, as good as that sounds. Look at this, UK goodies. Oh my God, UK goodies. Okay, that sounds amazing. I really hope it's open. Ah, it's not open. Okay, no worries, that's all good. We'll come back there another time. I've got to say, despite a few places being closed, there is more than the average number of places open. That is one of my complaints about New Zealand is that most of the time, Places are closed. However, here, look at people eating food. I'm actually quite impressed. Really, really good work, Patoni. Well done. Now, this Razine place, I think that's how you pronounce it, they are everywhere in New Zealand. Like, why is that? The people just love paint here or something. And I'm sure it's a great business, but it seems to be everywhere. Who knows? The Hook Seafood Grill Bar. Great stuff. Really, really great stuff. Now, as you guys know, normally I like going to places where people discourage me from going to. Hamilton, South Auckland, and so on. I've got to say, nobody has discouraged me from coming to Lower Hutt. A few people have, may have made a couple of jibes about it, but no one has given me quite the number of warnings that I received before going to Hamilton and South Auckland. So I thought I'd do something a bit different and go somewhere where the reputation is actually pretty all right, pretty middle of the road. I will say that I didn't explore Pitone fully just then. I did only have a little look, but I want to combine this. Listen to those birds, by the way. Such unique sounds, I love it. As I say, I didn't explore Pitone fully just then. I did just walk up Jackson Street, the main strip, and see what was there. I want to make this video, you know, Pitone and Central Lower Hut around the mall. But if I was to do the video on the full length of Pitone and all of Lower Hut, it would be about four hours long and it would take about a year to upload. So I don't think anyone would want to see that. But on we go to Central Lower Hut. And I have to say, Pitone, unreal. I'm really impressed. It seemed to have, it, obviously it's smaller, so it's much more compact than Wellington CBD but it had some amazing food places. 70% of establishments were open, which is significantly higher than the New Zealand average, which seems to be about 2%. Just joking, all right, just joking. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, what a great first impression. Lower Hutt, Pitone, well done. On we go to Queensgate Mall. I don't know, maybe I'm being overly kind, but it just looks like quite, oh, Alice Town, is that what it's called? 
I don't know, correct me in the comments where I'm going wrong about what this place is called, but it's just so simple. It just is great that there's a little Italian ceramics place, some nice greenery. Look, maybe I'm just easily pleased, but to me, Alice Town, Ava, whatever you're called, this little area, I don't know. There's something quite charming about it. It's not trying to be something it's not. It's got some lovely places and it just seems quite, quite chilled. Lifestyle furniture. <laughs> what more could you want? There's even, there's a little coffee place there. There's a creative digital, play, what's that called? Martin Signs. So if you need furniture or a sign, well, you're laughing. Well done, Alice Town slash Ava slash whatever this place is actually called. I'm impressed with you. Okay, despite the weather being beautiful, the wind is picking up slightly, so hopefully everyone can still hear me. There's a war memorial library here. Wow. That is... Hello, mate. That is commitment to a war memorial. Which way do I go? It's a war memorial, so I don't want to go the wrong, in the wrong bit. Wow, this is gorgeous. What on earth? I know I give Wellington CBD a hard time, but it probably just doesn't have the space for places like this. But this just looks stunning. Look at it. Wow. What a lovely building. Little city fitness gym over there as well. Goodness me. Wow, okay. And lest we forget, full respect to those who served. Unbelievable. It's a gorgeous place, very green. Yeah, it's nice. Nice little sculpture there as well. Looks cool. Honestly, this is lovely. The thing is with New Zealand is everyone knows it is the most stunning place when it comes to nature and landscapes, but Wellington itself, the CBD, like really not so much because as I say, it's quite hilly and there's not that much space, but you come out to the hut, look at this, it's gorgeous. Little fountain over there as well. Amazing. <sighs> now, admittedly, this is not my first time in Lower Hut, but after seeing all this, it will not be my last either. So good. Okay. Something amazing just happened to me. I've been in this country for three and a half years and you know that Māori culture is such a big part of my kōpapa, such a big part of my life. I've never had an unplanned hongi with someone and I want to give the biggest shout out ever to Hayden and his stepson who I just met. Amazing, amazing people firstly, very, very kind, polite, like every Kiwi of course. But he just, he just did a hongi with me and I, I, I'm blown away. I don't even know what to say. I actually I had to stop myself getting a bit emotional. I didn't, I was, I was obviously unplanned and unprepared for it, but Hayden, mate, I really need you to know that was an amazing experience. It's the first time that's ever happened to me. And I hope it isn't the last. Thank you, mate. I really can't tell you enough how much I appreciate what just happened. Thank you. And now we're here. I'm not sure what this building is. Oh, I think it's the, it's the Hutt City Council administration building. It's pretty cool. Also, actually, whilst we're here, I've got to give a shout out to uh, Lilia, who I'm not sure if she works for the council or if she does something for the council, but she got in contact with me and gave me a heap of recommendations for Petone for Lower Hutt. And she just, yeah, she was fantastic. She really sold the idea of Petone to me and the hut itself. So shout out to Lilia because yeah, amazing person and she definitely gave me the enthusiasm that I needed. This place is called the Douse Art Museum. Should we go and take a look? Yeah, let's go and have a little look, see what's going on over there. Oh, look, it's buzzing. It's vibrant. It's green. Guys, lower hut. I am, I am sold. Unbelievable. The Douse Art Museum. 50 years of fresh ideas. Oh, it rhymes. There's a little cafe in there as well. Lower hut, go off. Like, what is going on? I'm so impressed with this place. And do you know what? Obviously, I wanted to go to the mall, Queensgate. Well, I am still going to go there. But <laughs> rather than making that the central point of the video, forget the mall. Lower hut's got a lot going on. 
I think that's Queensgate. Okay, I can see a rather ominous looking building over there that says Queensgate on top. You can just see just up there, it says Queensgate. So I'm guessing that's where I, where I need to go. So that's where I'll be heading. Uh, quickest way, I don't know, but I'm sure we will find out. Sorry, let me be absolutely clear. I have been to Queensgate Mall before, I have. This is not my first time in Lower Hutt, but it's certainly my first time exploring it in depth like this. So I want to be totally honest. It is not my first time in Queensgate Mall. And I know they have a food court and it's a good food court. So I will be going in there and I will be sampling the treats that they have on offer. Shout out Common Sense. Nice little place, really good. One of those places where the prices might be a little higher, but actually it's worth it. It is, the, the produce looked amazing. So gonna enjoy some of that tonight. Thank you very much. So this is Central Lower Hut. Pretty cool. Sunny day, looks nice. Cash converters. Okay, homes. People screaming about something. All right, happy with that. Nice. Apart from my very tasty pork roll, I didn't do any filming in Queensgate Mall because it was very, very busy and very intense. There was a lot of people, but everyone was lovely. Everyone was amazing. Even the security guards were lovely. Everyone in there was great. Just a bit intense to film. I will say, however, since I first went to Queensgate, I think a couple of years ago and today, the place is crazy. It's got arcades, it's got cinema, it's got it's got a countdown, it's got a warehouse, and you honestly, that is a really good mall. And I think it just hammers home how utterly diabolical the shopping in Wellington City Centre is. Lower Hutt Mall, Queensgate really good. Potterdua North City Mall, also really good. Wellington CBD, terrible. So Queensgate Mall, you get a thumbs up from me. I even bought a PlayStation game in there, it was half price. 35 bucks for Last of Us Part 2, pretty good. Oh, and um, the other reason why I didn't film in there, my water bottle was open in my bag, so everything in my rucksack is drenched, uh, as are the backs of my grey tracksuit bottoms. So from behind, I probably looked, let's just say, uh, unclean. <laughs> so, after visiting Pitone, Queensgate Mall, Central Lower Hut, the War Memorial, what have I learned about my time in this lovely, homely city? Well, it's exactly that, homely. It's green, it's sunny, it's beautiful. I do feel a little bit bad on Upper Hut because when I went there, it was chucking it down with rain but today it is glorious sunshine. I will say as well, the people here, again, made an extra effort to be incredibly polite, kind, charming. Honestly, Lower Hut was gorgeous. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, it's not somewhere that I would perhaps move to right now because being at the stage in life that I am, I still enjoy the glitz and glamour of a huge city. But I'm telling you now, in terms of raising a family or a place to grow up, Lower Hutt, I'm seriously, seriously impressed. I'm sure like anywhere, there are areas that are probably not as desirable, but I certainly did not come across them today. There's far more in Lower Hutt for me to explore, that's for definite, but Pitone, unbelievable. Central Lower Hutt, unbelievable. I wanna give another big shout out to Hayden for that hongi earlier. Seriously, that alone is in the top three moments of my entire time in New Zealand. I will never forget that. Incredible. And also thank you to Lilia and the people at Hutt Valley Council because they were very proactive in making sure that I felt welcome and that I knew where I was going. I didn't take too much of their advice because I don't like to plan these things. I like to experience it with fresh eyes. But the effort they put in was great. I really appreciated that a lot. So. There we have it. Lower hut, beautiful, genuinely beautiful. See you on the next one.